Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Of course, we are stuck now in the Golden Saucer because the elevator broke, if you remember. Or the cable car, whatever. You know what I mean. I guess he's got the point. A lot of people joined rather late, so they kind of have no idea what we're actually doing, or why we're doing it. Yeah, and of course there's Ed Barrett, who just doesn't know. <laughs> so we have a chance to make Cloud give a bit of a recap of the story here, but if I'm going to be honest, he doesn't really explain a lot. Yet yeah, we know. Yeah. <laughs> Harsh, considering that's kind of her race, but you know, Barrett is such a racist, definitely. Thanks for that extremely vague and cryptic explanation, Avis. Very helpful. The Black Materia. We've had this mentioned a couple of times now, haven't we? And yeah, Sephiroth was actually here talking about it to Dio for some reason. <laughs> Did she just say I don't know what, what a black cape is? Interesting. Uh oh. Can it be that Red 13 is one of those uh, people as well? Yeah, thanks for reassuring him there, Avis. You can kind of see now that people are starting to switch their focus from Shinra to uh, Sephiroth. And yeah, what was that? Really? You could explain to everyone, Cloud. Oh well, it will be in the future, so no need to worry. Oh no. Don't worry, Red 13, you're in our party. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Huh. All is not well in the Camp of Cloud, it seems. Tifa emailing out of it there. Sid obviously didn't find Cloud's uh, recap particularly interesting. Oh well, now we have uh, quite a funny bit if I'm going to be honest. I'll explain in just a second. It's Ares. Unsurprisingly. See, so, uh, well. Yeah, we're going to go on a date. Which is a. Uh, why I say I was unsurprised it was Ares, because uh, actually, it's not always. This is quite a, a 
well, it's a part of the game where, depending on what you've chosen in, like, conversation actions before, and uh, there's also some other factors as well, like if Cloud uses potions on them or whatever, um, he goes on a date with one of the girls, or, slightly concerningly, uh, it can also be Barrett. <laughs> So also slightly concerningly, if you go with Barrett, there's uh, not really anything, you know, gay in it whatsoever. Instead, Cloud talks a lot about Marlene, which is even more worrying, if I'm going to be honest. You should probably YouTube it, it's quite funny. It's quite difficult to get Barrett or Yuffie though, because uh, you have them, well, you have Yuffie for such a small amount of time compared to Aeris and Tifa. And as for Barrow, well, yeah, that's a bit of an easter egg, I guess, which is why it's so difficult to um, get him instead of the other two. So it's pretty standard to get a Tifa. So yay, now we get to go and take part in the play and take the leading roles. Gasp. Yay, it's ours. What stars we are. Damn right we are. Cloud isn't uh, the most natural actor I've ever seen, I've got to say. I love the way everyone spins onto the stage. <laughs> Yay, it's a wizard. But now we have a choice, so uh, you can actually kind of screw with this play, to be honest. You're meant to choose the wizard for the... <laughs> you can really kind of screw it, screw it up. Yeah, there we go. Defeat the king. <laughs> oh my god, it's the evil dragon king with Aeris. What ho! <laughs> I love the way it's referred to as EDK. That's an awesome abbreviation there. Who is our enemy? Um, that night. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that looked like it hurt. See, this is the problem with picking random people from the audience to take part in the stage. <laughs> Yay, so turned out she was a legendary hero. They certainly uh, saved the play with that, I suppose. <laughs> Okay, so now we have another event. I can't actually control where we go, by the way. It's automatic, so, uh, yeah. This is quite dialogue-heavy. I mean, I'm actually moving very little. Like, then I didn't move at all, either. So you do all, you do go to the same attractions, depending on uh, who you, you know, go with. But I'm pretty sure that, um... I can't actually remember, but I think if you go with Barrett, he doesn't do the first bit, that play. He, like, refuses to go. I guess it kind of makes sense, because that would be really weird. <laughs> this is a bit strange, because depending on what button you press, you can make Cloud look in various directions. Like that. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Blimey, that's going dangerously close to the gondola, if I'm going to be honest. I'm not entirely sure how safe that is. <laughs> She's of course referring to her old boyfriend there that she keeps going on about. Huh, that's a bit cryptic, isn't it? Wonder what she was talking about there. Feels like she might know something we don't or something. Oh well, that's the end of our uh, date anyway. Well, that would be so harsh. <laughs> Say <So>, yeah. <laughs> We had indeed better get going for some reason. Not entirely sure what urgent business we have coming up, but hey. Oh look, it's Kate and his awesome theme. <laughs> Gasp. Can it be? He's taking the keystone we got off Dio. Wow, Cloud probably shouldn't have just shouted at him there, and he's running away. So now we have a bit of a chase scene. We're gonna go chase him down and get that bloody keystone back. Oh, whoops, I went the wrong way. That was a bad start, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, I think he went down here. Yeah, he did. Yeah, there he is. What a bastard, though, stealing our stuff. You've probably guessed by this point that uh, that spy that uh, people have been going on about for ages, that have been informing Sh uh, Shinra about you, yep, you probably just figured out who it was. It was Kate all along. I don't know if you can remember all the way back to uh, when you first pick him up, but he actually kind of forces himself onto uh, joining the party instead of you inviting him or whatever. And yeah, now you kind of know why, I guess. Unfortunately, this uh, little goose chase is coming to an end, and it looks like Kate Sith has uh, emerged the winner. Oh, look, it's Seng. Sung, even. You bastard, Kate. Oh dear. Yeah, it's, uh,. Probably one of the reasons why he's one of the less popular characters. <laughs> Continue like nothing ever happened. That's a bit optimistic, isn't it? No way, cat. See, this is why I have a dog. A dog wouldn't steal the keystone. See, I didn't see Red 13 doing it. Gasp. Yep, that body is actually uh, not you know, life, <laughs> if you like. I have to admit, I failed to see why he honestly thinks we would let him just continue strolling around with this if uh, he just massively stabbed us in the back.
Really? <laughs> That's the best he could come up with? I see Aris agrees with me there. Oh yes, your like massive heroism has inspired me. Well, at least he came to his senses there a bit. Oh dear. Yeah, it's Marlene, Barrett's daughter. He's, uh, yeah, kind of got her as a hostage. So, well, that was a bit more persuasive than uh, <laughs> his other attempts to carry on, I suppose. Not to mention, of course, that Marlene was with Aeris' mum, so uh, God knows what happened to her now. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there after the Shinra because of you, cat. Damn you. So, that was a nice revelation there about Kate Sith. Though, I, as I said before, I did actually use him on my first playthrough. Anyway, that's the end of the video, and I'll speak to you guys, well, next time. See ya.